Welcome back to the Swing Clinic, and we have a special guest today here on the Swing Clinic. He's the head coach. Greg Liberto is joining us, and Greg is all about the mental side of golf and preparing yourself to hit shots. And Greg, I don't think enough people focus on this in their golf game, do they? I totally agree, Jimmy. Yeah, it's, <laughs> everybody asks the question, is golf more mental, is it more physical? My answer is always the same. It starts with how you think, Yep. right? Absolutely. And you know, Greg, I think when you're talking about preparing yourself, it's not always about high competitive golf. If you want to get the best out of yourself, whether you're playing nine holes with your kids and your wife after work, you still want to play good golf. So to go through something to prepare yourself to hit the shot is, is important no matter what level of golf you're playing, isn't it? Absolutely. And today we're going to talk about being 100% ready on every shot. Jimmy, it's referred to as being in the zone, but that's a very difficult place for most people to get to because they don't understand it. So today we're going to break down my five step process to do so. You're going to get me in the zone. We're going to get you in the I'm zone. ready and for the zone. 100% ready. I'm so ready. The first step is to stop those ants or those automatic negative thoughts. How many times have you walked up to a shot thinking about the three putt that you just hit or thinking about your score and you're totally distracted? I was just on the range. I was thinking about how I just hit the last one bad. So <laughs> let's get rid of the ants. I'm happy for it. Stop the ants, number one. And the way that you do that is with what I call a four second timeout. So what you want to do is very simply close your eyes and you're going to inhale through your nose for two seconds and exhale through your mouth for two seconds. When you open your eyes, you wake up to a very calm, focused, relaxed place. So that's step one. Step okay. two is you have to visualize your shot, okay. right? You have to know what kind of shot you're going to hit. Are you going to hit a fade? Are you going to draw it? So step two is to visualize it. Step three is pick your target. So you're going to hit to the green here on this shot. So you need to pick the exact what I call dime spot target of where you want your ball to land and how it's going to go on the hole. Step four, as you're walking up to the ball, you want to spell out the words or say to yourself, R-E-A-D-Y, ready. Okay. So when you're over the ball, it's time to just swing. All of the conscious thought is gone, and all you're doing is just swinging the club. Okay. okay. And you just sped up golf right there by being ready when they're over the golf ball, 100% ready. But there is a process before you get to the golf ball. And I think, Absolutely. you know, many people see Jason Day play golf. And Jason Day, actually, you'll see him stand there and visualize, close his eyes. And, and that's something that gets him ready to hit the shot. Absolutely. So, you know, yep. Absolutely. So the most important part of the four-second timeout okay. is you want to make sure that you're breathing properly. A lot of people breathe from their chest or their shoulders okay so the way to understand if you are breathing properly is to take a hand put it okay. on your chest here yep take another hand put it on your belly or All where right. your diaphragm is yep. and you want to close your eyes take a breath out and then inhale and see which hand is moving I don't know okay so you're breathing more from your chest so okay what you want to do is you want to focus on breathing more from your belly gotcha so you should feel this hand actually pushing out when you breathe in got it if you're breathing from your chest you're not getting the full benefit of it Okay, there you Felt go. Felt at that time. There yep. you go. Okay. Much better. Very important part of being 100% ready is to make sure that you're breathing properly in the four second timeout. Okay. Okay. So once you go through that behind the ball, you take your practice swing as you're walking up to the ball, R E A D Y, ready, and you just swing. Got it. So okay. I'm going to go through it right now. So I'm going to breathe. I'm going to take my breath. So it's visualizing my shot, right? Yep. Breathe through the nose. Is that correct? correct? Afterwards? I'm going to breathe through the nose and exhale through the mouth. So I'm going to walk up to my shot. R E A D Y. And that's as good as I can hit a wedge. Beautiful right there, golf Greg. shot. So I don't know if you're really that good that you can make that happen in <laughs> one time. Better than what you're doing in practice. Yeah, right. That was excellent. But again, this is all about preparing yourself. So go through the steps for me one more sure. time. So step one is you have to stop the ants, those automatic negative thoughts. Right. Step two is to visualize the type of shot that you hit. Are you going to hit a fade or draw? Step three is pick that exact dime spot target of where you want your ball to land. And step four is you're walking up to it, R-E-A-D-Y, ready. Step five, just swing. Let it go. And I was real, I'll was i be honest with you, I went through there and I just pulled the trigger. And I, and I have Beautiful. a lot of thoughts in golf. Everybody has a lot of we thoughts in golf. And we all do. It really did release those thoughts. That's great. So if somebody wants to work with you or get involved, see your stuff, how do we get to it? MyMetalGameCoach.com is our web address. And it's Greg Liberto, the head coach. If you want to get started on learning how to play your best golf ever, it's a place to go. I love it. Well, I'm going to dig into this guy's brain as soon as we get off the camera, too. Greg, thanks for joining us. Thanks, I truly too. appreciate, appreciate it. it. All right, when we come back, Christina is going to join our director of instruction here at Stonewater, Bob Bourne, in the bunker right after the break.